Hey, what's up? And welcome back to Buy Stuff Phoenix. And first of all, just want to welcome you to 2021, everybody. We made it through that interesting year. Interesting is a word for it, all right? But we're gonna kick things off right with a classic favorites video. We are talking winter favorites. I'm super excited for this one. I've got a whole bunch of favorites categories for you. Winter wear, movies, music, beauty, hobbies. We got it all covered today. And if you've been looking for a new winter coat or winter boots, I've got some cute suggestions. So definitely stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun one. Um, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And let's get into it right now. First things first, we're going to start off with a little winter accessory that I have been loving recently and that is berets. Already wearing it. We're ready to go. I've always been super into beanies for winter, but recently my love has kind of shifted towards berets a little bit. I've got this cute light pink one on, but I've got a whole bunch more. Let's bring out the collection. <laughs> I've got this super cute pastel lavender camel. I wear this a ton in the fall. And then obviously a classic black to round out the group. Oh wait, actually we have one more. How could I forget? We've got this gorgeous furry leopard one. This one is just, this one's a dream. Shoot, I should have worn this one today. This, this is cute. Next time, next time. Other than the leopard one, these three and the one that I'm wearing are all actually from Amazon and it's super cheap. Like, I want to say 15 bucks. Let me check. Amazon load, thank you. Okay, yeah, I was right. It's 14 or $15 depending on the color. I tried a few different ones from Amazon and this one definitely fit the best and then the cutest color. So I'll have the direct link to that below. The furry leopard one is from Target, not Amazon. So I don't know if I'm gonna get the exact link for it, but I'll try. I'll link some similar styles down below. I've just been loving berets. They're so fun. They're stylish, a little like step outside the norm and just like a fun, easy topper brings a look together. Super duper cute and I'm obsessed with berets for winter, so that's why it's number one on the list. On to favorite number two. Since we're talking Amazon, I've gotta tell you guys about this super cute sweatshirt I found that I've just been living in all winter. Got it right here. It's this furry, fuzzy animal ear hoodie. I've got the little animal ears up there. I wish you guys could feel it. It's like that like teddy material, just super, super cozy. It is the comfiest thing in the world. Like you already just looking at this, you know you're gonna be living in this. So just place the order. Make yourself happy and warm and cozy and happy. Did I say happy already? You're gonna be double happy, okay? It's a good purchase. The only bad thing I have to say about this hoodie is that the sizing of it is really bad. Like it runs really small. To get an oversized look for me, I had to go for the biggest size, extra large, and it doesn't go bigger than that. So it's a little limiting on size, but other than that, I mean, it's kind of the dream hoodie. So. Oh my God, I could like nap on it right now. On to the third favorite. Next, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a movie that I watched recently that I really enjoyed. It wasn't a great movie, but I really liked it. So it goes on the list. The movie is called Set It Up. It's on Netflix now. It's from 2018, so a couple years back, but I just saw it for the first time. I had a little like girls night with my sister. We watched the movie, had popcorn. I think we had popcorn. Maybe we didn't have popcorn. Am I imagining that? Maybe. But that night my sister's like, what kind of movie are you in the mood for? And I'm like, stupid fun. Like bad good. Dumb but enjoyable rom-com. That was the mood. And this movie delivered. <laughs> For like the basic, basic summary of the movie, it's about these two business assistants who are really overworked by their bosses and they come up with this plan to set up their bosses so that if they are off together in love, then these assistants have less work to do. And clearly nothing could go wrong with this plan. So yeah, just nothing bad happens. And it's all just like a happy, happy day for them. Not quite, but yeah, watch the movie. It's a cute one. I enjoyed it, so have fun. If you want more like lighthearted Netflix movies, like rom-coms, comedies, that type of stuff, I have a whole video with my suggestions. So check that out. You'll find something in there you wanna watch for sure. On to the next. Should we do winter coats or no? Let's do this first and then we'll do winter coats after. Up next, we've got a beauty favorite. It's a hair tool that I'm obsessing over recently and you probably already know about it because I just did an entire video on it, but here it is is this thing's amazing this is the chi lava spinning curl it's basically like an automatic curler it curls your hair for you you kind of just like place your hair over press a button it does its little magic and then voila you have a gorgeous curl it's kind of semi life changing if you want the full rundown on just everything amazing about it and want to see it in action like i said i have a video up on it and i show how i do my whole head of hair with this tool right here. If you wanna watch that video after this one, I'll have it linked down in the description box below so you can catch it there. You know, I got you set up today with all the content. Freaking love this thing. Oh, and obviously I'll have this link down below there too. So if you wanna just, you know, casually transform your entire hair routine, you can. 
If you're enjoying the video so far, scroll down and leave a like for me and on to the next. As promised, it is officially a winter coat time. I've got two new ones that I just got very recently and I'm super excited to show them to you. So let me grab them and we'll talk. All right, so let's talk about this one first. This one is more of like a lighter winter coat. If it's like cold out, but not freezing, the other one's for when it's freezing. This one is from DKNY. It's this gorgeous dark green color, kind of like military jacket vibes, which I love. On the hood, we've got black fur. I've never had a coat with black fur. It's just so chic. The inside lining at the top is like this really soft, furry fabric, love it. And then at the bottom, it's just like the quilting. We've got the nice little hidden drawstring on the inside to make it a little cinched, a little tighter. Hidden inner pocket, some outer pockets. What else can you say? It's just a cute coat. It's a great coat, definitely keeps you warm on cold days. And just sizing purposes, this is an extra small, the one that I have. I'm pretty sure this comes in a few colors and I'll have that link down below if you want to get this DKNY coat for yourself. But if this isn't good for you because you live in a just super cold place, I've got another coat to suggest. Let's talk about that one. Here we go, we've got our super warm second coat. This one is Laundry by Shelly Siegel. Great brand, I have some dresses by her, I'm pretty sure. It's like a medium dark gray puffer jacket. We've got more of a tan colored fur on the hood, nice and classic. And then on the inside of the hood and kind of like on the lining at the neck is this like shearling, super soft, super cozy. It's like a really nice touch. The coat is like quilted all throughout, keeps you super warm, but it's not super bulky, which I love. Whole bunch of pockets, detachable hood, little snaps to get that nice finished look in the front. I don't think there's anything about this coat right here that I do not love. And it keeps you so warm. I went out in a New York City blizzard in this coat. My body was not cold. My legs and hands were really cold, but that that's separate. <laughs> it does what it's supposed to do. The details on this coat along with the other one will be in the description box along with the link. So if you wanna get it, you can. On to the next. <laughs> I've also got some winter boot suggestions, but I'm gonna save that for a little later in the video because we just did winter coats. Like, let's separate out the winter wear a little bit, okay? So instead, we're gonna be talking about a little hobby ish type of thing that I've been getting into recently, and that is Instagram Reels. Reels are kind of like the new version of TikTok, and for whatever reason, I was always kind of like against getting on TikTok. I didn't really want to make videos on there, like start on a whole new platform. So when they brought over the TikTok type of thing to Instagram, which I'm already on, at by Steffi next to go give me a follow. I was like, sure, let's give it a shot. I made a few reels now and I'm having so much fun doing it. Like watching reels is fun, but creating your own, next level. I just feel like I'm able to like use my creativity in a whole new way because I'm used to like YouTube, longer format videos, but this, I get to like play around with like shorter form stuff, a little more comedy on there. So I've been having a great time. Go check them out if you want to. At by Steffi Nix on the gram. <laughs> Do people even still say the gram? I don't think so. Okay. Let's see her for reals. Yes, okay, on to the next. <laughs> my skincare pick is my favorite winter moisturizer. It's a classic, got it right here. The Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. Gotta remember the plus. This is an incredible facial moisturizer. So luxurious, but not too thick where like you really feel it like sitting on your skin. It absorbs really well. And I've never dealt with like dry skin or dry patches or anything when I'm using this guy. I have really sensitive skin and this is really gentle. It's never given me a problem. For the rest of the year, if I feel like I don't need something as moisturizing, I might use the gel version. This is the dramatically different moisturizing gel from Clinique. They look the same, but they're different. This is just like the thinner version, but for winter, for sure, gotta stick with the original lotion plus a holy grail pick for sure. Love it. <laughs> now let's talk music. I have a new favorite artist that I've been listening to nonstop for the past couple weeks. When I find new music that I like, that is the only thing I will listen to, which is all day, every day. A new artist that I am just totally into these days, her name is Tate McRae, and she's such a cool voice. Like certain songs, I get Billie Eilish vibes, who I also love. I want to like pick up my like top two or three favorites from her for you to listen to but I can narrow it down below five, so you're gonna get my top five. <laughs> We've got Don't Be Sad, Stupid, Lie To Me, Are You Okay, and Vicious. But really, like, all of her songs. But those five are a good place to start from. <laughs> if you have any new artists that you've been loving, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new music to listen to, and I'll, like, help out other people. I wanna, like, look down and find new stuff. Help us out, people. We've got one beauty fave, and then I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my winter boots, and then that is the end of the favorites list. This went pretty quick. Not done yet, though. 
my final beauty fave, and I'm not gonna show it to you just yet. It is my favorite lipstick that I've been rocking all the time recently, including today. Hello. I've got it right here. This is the Bobbi Brown Lip Color in Sand Wash Pink. Oh my God, it like perfectly matches my beret. Was that on purpose? <laughs> not at all. It's like a beautiful beige pink color, very wearable for every day. And what I love about this so much is that it is super comfortable. Almost every lipstick that I wear, I have to top it off with gloss because I just feel like it's too drying. This is like really creamy and moisturizing. So I love that I can wear it on its own and it's not gonna like cake up or get like lines or anything like that. This is such a classic and I love the vibes of it for winter. It's like a nice like rosy pretty pink. And when you can match your makeup to your beret, I mean like what more can you ask for? Life's good, my people. It really is. Why am I so extra? And we have made it to our final favorite category of the video my favorite winter boots. We've got snow boots and then like chill house boots. So let's talk snow boots first. Let me tell you guys, I have been searching for years for snow boots. I have like a very specific list of things I want. I want them to be neutral in color, but yet still cute. Fit comfortably, not be too warm or when I'm indoors, my feet are like overheating. I didn't want them to be like the super high boots. I didn't want them to be like insanely expensive. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on that list. Whatever, it was a lot of things and I tried you don't even want to know how many snow boots from Zappo that just kept like ordering, trying, returning, ordering, trying, returning. If I like actually checked and told you guys the real number, it'd be embarrassing. So I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but finally, it was last year, the year before, I found the perfect snow boots that just checked all the items on my list. And let's check them out. We've got them right here. These are, I actually have no idea what the style are. I'll have it like written out here. These are actually Ugg snow boots, super interesting. I went with the black color with the little gray fur trim, which adds that little pop of cute without being like too standout-y. My sister went with like the more like beige white color after I showed her how cute these were, she wanted them too. That color's adorable also. They're nice and rugged, so they're gonna give you like good traction on the snow and ice. But like overall, they still have like a cute, nice look. They really look like work boots when I'm holding them up right here. When I wear them in an outfit, they are really adorable. I'll put in a picture of what it looks like, you know, when I'm like out and about. They're super cozy and warm. We've got that fur all throughout the inside. The classic Ugg fur, can't beat that. I've been wearing them all the time this winter and last winter and maybe the winter before. I'm not exactly sure how long I've had these, but they are incredible boots, hold up really well, work really well, and they're cute. So I'm happy with them, very happy. In the description box, I'll have the details on what these boots are because I don't exactly remember like the style name right now. And I'll have a link if you guys want to get them as well. But as promised, I also have my favorite like chill winter boots. Like not for when it's super snowy or anything, but just when you want like something cozy and warm and nice. Not surprisingly, they are also Uggs. These are the mini style. I think they're like the mini twos. So like they come like pre-stain treated, which is kind of cool. Love wearing these in the winter time. They keep you nice and cozy, but I kind of prefer them to the really tall ones, which just like overtake your outfit. These are like a more like shoe version of that look, if that makes any sense. And also like you're not gonna have to worry about getting like super overheated because they're shorter. So, like they're nice like fur lined, but it's not like your whole leg is fur lined. Just like the color, it works well with the vibe. Not even ashamed to admit it, I wear these as house slippers now too, cause they are that comfy. They are constantly on my feet, inside, outside, all the time. Incredibly cozy. I'm pretty dang cute. The Ugg Mini Tooth. Pick yours up today. <laughs> a winter favorite for sure. And that concludes my list of winter favorites. If you guys enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, definitely just scroll down and leave a like for me before you click out. Everything I mentioned today will be listed and linked in the description box for you. Drop a comment down in the comment section below telling me about one of your winter favorites. I'd love to read about it. If you enjoyed hanging out with me today, I'm gonna formally invite you to join the Bicep Phoenix fam. All you gotta do is click the big red subscribe button down below and right next to it, ring the notification bell to get notifications sent straight to your phone every time I post a video so you'll never miss. It's just what you gotta do, so do it. I love doing favorites videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay warm out there. And as always, this was by Stephanie X.